you talked about you and your brother getting your second deals. It wasn't just you guys getting your second deals. It's like you guys are at the top highest of your game. You know, you win the defensive player of the year. I was fortunate enough to be there that night and uh, see you winning that. I was so, so proud because I've seen every step of the way, you know, in, in the NFL um, that you have taken. And I've seen the grind, the the work put in um, daily. I've seen the sacrifices that you make. And it's really inspiring. You know, a lot of times you inspire me um, to be a better version of myself with how, how you approach uh, football and life and, um, you know, the dedication that you have. And so I think a lot of people, you know, put those expectations, but, um, you know, I didn't sign a, a contract like yours, but, um, you know, I was, you know, the highest paid on the team on the defense at that time. And, you know, I get, I feel, I feel those things, you know, um, the league has a great way of keeping that pressure on you. Always. And <laughs> like we, we talked about that on the field before is like, yo, like this is like, this is nonstop. You get drafted, pressure to prove yourself, you know, all right, now, all right, I'm playing, I'm playing well. Now you really got to prove yourself to get paid. Then you get paid. It's like, all right, now you got to go earn the money and what comes with getting paid and uh, the expectation and the pressure that you're talking about. Um, and it's healthy for sure, because you don't want to be the guy who's, just content mm -hmm. and uh but this is like you only get a, a certain amount of time to do um to do this to to chase your goals the profession that you've chased your whole life and um and some people might get paid and be like all right i've, I've done it i've reached it mm -hmm. um but i feel like there's there would be so many so much regret down the road if if that's that's what you chose to do yeah so um there's really no other option but to to keep pushing and keep preparing in the off season and and continue continuing to try to take steps in the right direction yeah i think that uh no nah, that's that's a great point and i think that you know this league is so tough a lot of guys who think like that kind of weed themselves out Mm -hmm. And there are some guys who, you know, are just so talented that it's just like, all right, you know, they, and they, they have worked hard to a certain extent, obviously, but they are so talented and they get to that level and it's like, man, I, just, I didn't really, you know, this just, I'm just, I'm just that good. And <laughs> they don't necessarily appreciate it, but I think the guys, how, how hard this league is and everything you have to go through, um, you know, guys who think like that don't make it typically to that yeah. level. And so those guys weed themselves out and the guys who are there in that situation, a lot of that pressure comes internally too, because we truly want to be the best at what we do. And no one wants to be no has been, no one wants to be uh, a player that, you know, has, um, you know, gotten in this situation and then just like, all right, whatever. And so I think that internal pressure is is healthy too, um, in the sense that you know you want the most out of your life and your opportunity, like you talked about. And the only way to get that is with hard work and sacrifice. And that's why I've seen from you, and I've been so proud of you, is I've seen that that sacrifice and that hard work. And you don't take it for granted when you put in all that work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um reaching the goals that i've i've reached in my career so far um like the amount of doubt that i've had throughout my career with the injuries and and just um whatever times i haven't played well and all that stuff at the end of the day like the work that you put in pays off mm -hmm. like you just have to trust the work cuz um, if you're thinking about the end result the whole time, you're not gonna you're not gonna get too far. You gotta just put your head down, do exactly what you've always done, and work your butt off, and um, and it will pay off in some way or another. It might not be exactly how you pictured the payoff, but mm -hmm. um, but I truly believe hard work pays off. So yeah, well in your case it was five years, one hundred seventy million. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think uh, that was pretty much what you imagined. Yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely. No, nah, but no, nah, but for real, I think like you, because that's what you can control. You can control your effort. Exactly. You can control. You can't control how you're perceived. A lot of times, you can't even control your production or what happens in the game. But you can control. Um, you can control how you prepare. You control the work you put in. Um, it's funny as you become an adult like truly an adult because when you're coming in the league you're you're a kid mm -hmm. like in college you're a kid and as you become an adult like things get more complicated up here like, mm -hmm. like you have to really take the time take the thought and and organize and create habits that are beneficial for your mind mm -hmm. Um, because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of this that um, people relying on you, and and uh, and if you don't, if you're not proactive about um, keeping your mind right and and focusing on the right things in mm -hmm. this world of um, social media and all the stuff that goes on, you could get lost pretty easily. So I want to send a huge shout out to Verizon, our new presenting sponsor. Third and Long is now powered by Verizon.